Hello, in this video we're going to go over how to make a calendar uh, widget uh, in Decanter. Now when I say make, we're not actually going to be making a calendar, we're in fact going to be using uh, pre-built classes in order to, um, we're going to be using uh, pre-built classes in order to uh, instantiate calendars essentially uh, because making a calendar um, in procedural programming is relatively difficult so um, that's also a calendar that's flexible as well um, you just get a greater degree of flexibility when you carry out uh, object-oriented programming with this so uh, we're going to have two classes um, now I'm not going to be explaining um, everything in these classes. I have commented the code, um, but um, let's just go into the control um, class. Now the control class is sort of the in-between between, between your program and the calendar itself. So um, when it's instanced, uh, there'll be two buttons, choose and show selected, which will call their uh, respected um, commands. So the choose creates a calendar um, object and the uh, the show selected button returns the dictionary of the data. So that's what the control does essentially and then in the calendar I'm not going to go into all this um, but uh, as you can see um, I have commented a, a bit, so if you do want to have a dive into that, then that's fine. Um, but anyway, I want to show you how to use it. So, um, import to Kinter as TK. Now, this file is called test.py. Um, you would this would be your uh, project file, okay? So if you don't have to Kinter, this won't work. So you need to import that. You also need to import. Um, the uh, class itself. So this will be, uh, we'll just be using the uh, control class in our main, um, in our main program, because remember the control sort of acts as a intermediate uh, between the calendar and the program, your program. And remember, if you're doing any sort of class based stuff you need your classes in the same directory as you can see my all three of my python files are in um, this uh, directory there so don't worry if there's red lines uh, in your PyCharm by the way um, just ignore that um, so we're going to do uh, root.tk.tk now this is just an example um, uh, program that I'm writing here. So this is the bit that I, uh, is is where we uh, use the class. So um, what we need to do is define a control or a control object. So we're going to give it a name. So we're going to call it app and that's going to equal control um, and then um, yeah, and then we're going to pass in the frame we want it to be in, in this case the root frame, because there's no other frame. Um, so what is this? Um, well, um, this is called the constructor uh, for an object. Um, I'm not going to go into any more detail than that, just, um, just this is what you do in order to create a control object, okay? Um, and then that's it, we're going to do root dot main loop. Don't worry if you don't understand any uh, of the terms uh, used in this video. Just, just know that um, this is how you're going to uh, create your uh, control uh, uh, interface. So whenever we run this, we've we come up with uh, this uh, control uh, interface here. So whenever we click choose, that creates a calendar object which is here in a separate uh, to Kinter uh, instance and um, we're going to choose a date. So we're going to choose the 22nd of October. Okay. And then that updates the calendar with Tuesday, October 22nd, 2019. Okay. That's the date that's been chosen. We can choose 
Wednesday, Thursday, you know, we can choose anything and it'll be fine. We can also go forwards and backwards. But we'll stick with uh, Tuesday the 22nd, okay? So um, that's that. So then we click OK. That closes the uh, calendar. And now we want to show the selected date. So we're going to get that output, okay? Um, so this will simply just output it to the console, okay? And as you can see, um, it cr it's a dictionary with the key fields, date selected, month selected, year selected, day name, uh, and month name. So we've got the 22nd of the 10th, 2019. The day name is Tuesday and the uh, month name is October, which is correct. So that's how you use the, 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 class, the classes and the and call the instantiate the object and all that carry on. Now, as you may know, if not, that's fine. You can instantiate multiple objects from a class. So if you want another calendar, um, you may want another calendar on a different frame in your project. Um, you can simply do the same thing. Uh, let's just call it, since this is a control object, um, I'm just going to call it control2 uh, equals control. Um, and then you may have, you'll, you probably have a different frame in there. But um, whenever we run this again, you can see we now have two controllers. Now, if I choose a date here, let's say the 22nd of October, and then let's choose, I don't know, uh, January, uh, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday the 9th of January, 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 uh, um, then um, whenever we do show selected, um, we get the dictionary for that one, and then we get the dictionary for that one there. Okay, so um, as you can see, the, the that's why object-oriented programming is quite powerful because of code reuse. Uh, we didn't have to do anything else apart from instantiate a new object uh, to make that happen. Um, so yeah, no, that's that's essentially it for this video. Just remember, uh, I'll have the two. Uh, classes in, on the github and I will also also want to remind you that you need them to be in the same directory there but yeah no thank you for watching goodbye